Hello, this is Transformers Fan G138, and I'm here with a, uh, another episode of G138 and other such fun. Um, today's topic is Wreckers. And I bring that up simply because I have my main criticism in on my stop motion series is my use of the Wreckers. Um, mainly who I decide to throw in a Wreckers team. Um, but I'll get to that later on. Right now, so, for news and general information, really don't have much. Yeah, I'm kind of just chilling out this week. Trying to, you know, get some stuff done. Yeah, don't have a lot for general information. As far as big news goes, um, they Hasbro has announced that we are getting a Voyager Shockwave Transformers Prime figure. Hoping it'll be a little bit better than the Fall Cybertron guy, and it'll fit in my Classics collection a little bit better. Because um, right now, on my shelf, the uh, Fall Cybertron guy seems so tiny that I actually still using the Voyager movie version as a stand-in for my Classics Shockwave. That's kind of sad, but true. Anyway, beyond that, so here we have Wreckers. Or, and yes, before anybody yells at me for having Drift, Blur, and Perceptor here, IDW introduced them to a Wreckers team, so deal with it. Yes, so my choice of Wreckers for my stop motion series were Cup, Blur, Whirl, and Perceptor, I believe, were the ones I used initially. Because I didn't have Springer at the time, and I obviously didn't have Assaulter or aka Broadside back there. Um, and then I introduced Drift, Drift onto the team. Main, namely because in the IDW comics, Blur and Perceptor joined up with the Wreckers along with Drift in uh, the Drift Spotlight and in All Hail Megatron. Uh, yeah, they still had bro Broadside not sure if they actually had broadside in that. I know for a fact they did have a uh, Roadbuster, which I'm looking forward to obtaining in the Fall Cybertron toys, which hopefully will be shown at Toy Fair. I'm a little nervous that I haven't shown them yet. However, it does look like they're going to continue that line. Well, at least they're using a stand-in for that logo with that Optimus Prime that I mentioned last week. So yeah, it should be fun. Can't wait for that. It'll be neat. Uh, Toy Fair soon. Yep, soon. So, uh, yeah, Wreckers. I really like the Wreckers. Um, regardless, the my least favorite Wrecker those get Wreckers have to be um, Rack and Run, whatever. The two that are joined. I do like their use in the new IDW Spotlight Orion packs. I thought they were kind of neat, actually. Worked well. Worked well. Not rel. Well. Um, so that was cool. Oh, yeah, that reminds me in the big Transformer news category, which I completely forgot. Um, spotlight Trail Cutter instead of Spotlight Trail Breaker. I get why they're doing that, because every time they're doing a... Um, Trail or Trailbreaker figure, their naming them Trail Cutter, which is basically small guy, soon to have a Transformers Prime version. But it irritates me that they're forcing that in the comic books. Um, they didn't used to do that; they're doing that now. I mean, I kind of understood the Rodimus thing story-wise, but I prefer him being called Hot Rod when he still acts Hot Rod. Like, yeah, he's leader, but doesn't really, yeah, no, doesn't impress me. Still want to call him Hot Rod. Um, yeah, so personally, that's just the way I wanted to do it. Yeah, so, name changes. Hey, look on the bright side, at least we don't have Shock Blast, right? <laughs> anyway. Um... I am kind of excited for the Beast Hunters smokescreen. Um, 
I did end up canceling my order on the Japanese version. Um, because I think with uh, some really easy mods, I can take the armor attachments off. Because it looks like it's actually separate pieces that are on either a ball joint or a clip or something. Don't really know for a fact yet. I'd have to wait until a pictorial view to notice. But I do plan on buying it regardless, just to get the character. Um, and it'll be much cheaper to buy it in the U.S. than the Japanese version. Anyway, hopefully I'll have a records update as soon as I get my Fall Cybertron records pre-ordered, ordered, shipped, whatever. I just want to be able to pre-order them, and so far I haven't been able to do that because they haven't been offered yet. Like, is it too hard to at least give me a pre-order on it? <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I do still have uh, pre-orders on the Generations Decepticon uh, cassette guys, data discs, and the Autobot data discs, as well as uh, the Big Bad Toy Store Amazon.com exclusive Omega Supreme. Uh, I still have my Ratbat pre-order. I'm going to wait on that and see if that's at uh, Toy Fair first uh, before I make a decision whether I'm going to keep that in my cart or not. Then there's Grimlock and Blaster. Yep, that's it. So, I've got like one, two, three, four, five, five pre-orders I'm waiting on. Some of them say January. Well, January's almost up, pretty much, so not holding my breath. Well, anyway, that being said, I'm just babbling at this point, so see ya. I got some stuff to do, so later.